Hi there, so in this video I'm going to be going over the issue some people have been having with this particular example of a turntable masking with tie points. This example uses a banana rotated first on one side as you can see here and then on the other side and then vertically like this. Now you can download the project, I'll have a link to this page in the description below. So open up either Photoscan or Metashape and after you have the example downloaded, drag in all of the images. Now, following the steps in the guide, the first thing you're supposed to do is mask this first image here by double-clicking on it, selecting the Rectangle tool over here, Rectangle Selection, zoom out a little bit, highlight everything, right-click, Add Selection. And now it's masked. And all you should have to do is go to Workflow, Align Photos, and scan it. Alright, so after aligning the photos, you can see that not all of them aligned. It's only the first few. In fact, it's only the photos that have the top side up before any angle is actually adjusted. And these two other photo sets, starting from here and here. So after a lot of head scratching as to why this is the case, it's actually a pretty simple solution. So make sure you have reset current alignment on. Also, apply your masks to the tie points. That's incredibly important and up the accuracy to high. And let's just see what kind of results we get after this. All right, so after a couple of minutes of processing, it's finished, and we can see that all of the photos have now been aligned. There were countless posts on the forums about this banana example, and a lot of people not being able to get it working. But making a mask of the photograph without the subject in place, in this case, banana, and applying that to the tie points did, if we check the model, create a very good dense point cloud, having all angles of the banana mapped. And if we build a dense point cloud and later an actual model, I'll bring in their example here, we'll have a final result looking exactly as they had it in the tutorial. So hopefully this was helpful for those of you that had this issue. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.